Uh, typical lease is three to 12 years. Uh, the leases are in U.S. dollars. And so we don't directly feel all the various currency movements in the world. Yeah, that's really interesting. We, we noted that when Boeing came out with their numbers the other day, that they hadn't been impacted by foreign currency. We didn't realize till that point that they were actually doing all of those sales in dollars, too. How come leasing is in dollars? Leasing is in dollars just because of the market convention, aircraft trade in dollars. But that doesn't mean our customers don't f uh, feel that. Yeah. It doesn't mean that we don't uh, work on that to, as, as an opportunity. What do you mean an opportunity? So the dollar has gotten a lot stronger over the last several months, and it means that if, if you're an airline in the Eurozone, for example, you can sell an aircraft for, uh, for profit, perhaps. Uh, and and because, uh, this is a great opportunity for us. In fact, in the fourth quarter of last year, we did three quarters of a billion dollars of business, and a large part of our business, I think, was driven by the strength of the dollar. Because in other nations, they were selling these things, making the money on it, turning it back exactly. around. What, what's happening with U.S.? I mean, do U.S. carriers lease as much, too, or is this something that's done more often overseas? Less. I think they, 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 the, uh, the U.S. carriers have more options in terms of the financial markets, but it's a, it's a part of the business as well. I'd say for the growing economies, it's, leasing has been an essential part of, of how they've been able to get capacity. What, what do you wind up getting caught on? I mean, how does gas prices or jet fuel prices, how does that affect you or does it? Um, it depends on what you own. Jet fuel for our customers is an unequivocal good thing. Your, your uh, last uh, guest talked about Allegiant. They have an older set of aircraft that benefit tremendously because their capital costs are very low. They're not so fuel efficient, but they're, they're able to take that to the bottom line. As a leasing company, it's all about getting in at the right price. And we have always had a little bit more of a contrarian value-oriented approach. So we'll buy new aircraft, but we'll also buy mid-age aircraft. And over the last few months, we've been able to get customers like Southwest Airlines or Iberia to, uh, to take on lease or to extend leases of mid-age aircraft for a really long time. So we're a big beneficiary. I noticed that in your most recent earnings, your revenue was actually up 24 percent year over year or 24 percent for the quarter, 16 percent uh, year over year. We had a great year. The, what, what are, what's happening for that? Can you continue with numbers like those? Um, it's hard to predict the future, but we feel really good about where we're positioned. Uh, this past year, we did $1.8 billion of business, and the team is uh, able to take advantage of the strategic position we have. There are a lot of large leasing companies, and what we try to focus on is the, the, the part of the business that has higher bar barriers to entry that, that requires a little bit more work. Which would be? So uh, situations which don't have a big uh, auction process in terms of a, of a bid. So if a Chinese airline wants to do a sale and lease back on new airplanes, 30 or 40 people will show up for that auction. We're not interested in that. And that sounds like it's almost a catch-as-catch-can situation, though. It's the cheapest money that wins. Mm -hmm. But we did a big deal last year with LATAM, which is the biggest airline in Latin America. And we did a, it was a half a billion dollar deal for aircraft. And we came up with some very flexible approaches. Now, why approaches. didn't they do the same type of thing that was going on in China? Because that market is a much more limited market for those airplanes. They were new wide-body, 777 aircraft that seats 300 people, and they wanted short lease terms. Wow. But we got a great price, and we think we'll do very well with that. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. You can subscribe by clicking right here to check out the latest Mad Money CEO interviews, market news, financial advice, and product unboxing. Enjoy. Enjoy.